Well, hello there, my beautiful friends. Today, we are gonna be doing our weekly dose of window shopping here in Pay or Stay Away, where we take a look at some of the things that have been announced in the makeup world and decide whether or not we wanna spend our hard-earned coin on them. So if you are interested in seeing what is new in the makeup world, then go ahead and keep on watching and let's jump right on in. So before we get started with Pay or Stay Away for this week, I have to just give a little bit of a shout out here to somebody by the name of Cy Carrion. I'm gonna go ahead and link their Twitter and their Instagram down below, so please check them out because they make absolutely beautiful freaking artwork, especially portraits that are kind of anime-ish, but a little bit more lifelike, if you will. The reason why I wanna thank them is because I woke up this morning and saw this beautiful picture of me on Twitter that I was was tagged in and on Instagram that they decided to just randomly make of me and I am so incredibly flattered that someone would want to not only draw me but draw me looking this cute. I wish I was like one third as cute as how I'm portrayed in this photo and my god is Psycarion talented or what? So I had to just give them a little bit of a shout out. I can't even believe that someone wanted to make art of me and made art this adorable of me. So thank you so, so, so much. It means the world and I am just dumbfounded that you wanted to make this artwork that is so cute of me. I appreciate it more than anything. So if you are interested in this kind of artwork, if you want to check out some really beautiful kind of digital sketches, go over to their Instagram and their Twitter because yeah, Psycarion is very, very talented and I highly suggest checking out their social media if you want to be impressed by some really beautiful artwork. One more side note before we get started with Pay or Stay Away, it is finally giveaway time here on my channel. But stick around to the end of the video if you want to hear all about the giveaway and hear about what you can win and how to win. Little announcements over here. Let's go ahead and kick off Payer Stay Away with something from a brand that I don't think I've ever talked about here in Payer Stay Away and that I really haven't paid attention to that much until now. And this is Artist Couture. This is their Midnight Maven palette, which will be available on September 13th and it's going to retail for $29. And there are eight different beautiful shades in this eyeshadow palette. And I believe this eyeshadow palette is going to be limited edition because it is a holiday 2019 palette. I believe that like every Thing on Pay or Stay Away for this week other than one thing is holiday collections which is insane like I cannot wrap my head around the fact that it's almost the holidays and that holiday collections are releasing. I'm not freaking ready, okay? My bank account is not ready for Christmas. Anyway, this palette obviously appeals to me. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of things about this palette that I enjoy and that I can admire. I think this palette is absolutely beautiful. Now, I believe that this is Artist Couture's very first eyeshadow palette, and my god, did they knock it out of the park or what? This palette reminds me of like intergalactic space fairy type vibes here and obviously I love the colors because these colors are so my kind of thing. We have a beautiful bright fuchsia pink. We have some gorgeous deeper kind of space toned shades. Space toned. That's not a thing but the colors remind me of space and just galaxies. We have some beautiful super super sparkly deeper tones. They look really really pretty and this palette looks pretty darn pigmented from the swatches that I'm seeing. Although to be honest you really can't put your full entire trust in pictures that you see online of eyeshadow swatches. Just saying. All of that to say that this palette looks absolutely gorgeous and I think that the price point is really really good. I mean 29 bucks, eight shades, they all look beautiful and they look pigmented and they look vibrant and not to mention that the actual eyeshadow look that Angel Marino, the founder of Artist Couture, did in promotion of this palette is freaking beautiful like I would like to recreate that right now with this palette I'm tempted I'm very very tempted do I need this absolutely freaking not but it's $29 I haven't tried anything from the brand and I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty tempted I'm not gonna lie on one hand I've never tried this brand before and I've been intrigued by this brand for a few years basically since they've been around I've always wanted to try something but I've just never actually gotten around to finding something that I wanted enough to actually purchase so this might be that purchase but on the other hand I know I have these colors I mean we all know I have these colors I see this palette and I can legitimately think of a list in my head right now of multiple dupes for these out of my collection so I'm I'm very torn. You know, it's not super expensive, but I own things like this. But maybe the formula is a little different. But then 
who cares really, right? <laughs> the makeup addict in me says that I want to purchase this, but the trying to be conservative with my money portion of me is saying don't get it. So I'm very, very conflicted. I don't think that this would be anything that I would purchase right now, but I mean, if this is sticking around till the holidays, maybe I'll be feeling like getting myself a little side Christmas gift or something or a Thanksgiving gift or something. Maybe I'll end up purchasing it. I'm not really sure. Definitely intrigued and I think it's a beautiful palette, but I know I own this. So you know, I'm torn here. Let me know if you guys want to see some dupes for this palette. Even if I end up purchasing it in the future, I would be happy to bring you guys dupes for this. You already know that I own dupes for this. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments below. Next up on Payer Stay Away is another holiday release. Like I said, we are being bombarded with holiday releases already and it's barely September, but I guess that makes sense because that's usually around the time when everybody, you know, unveils their big holiday sales and whatnot and they go after my bank account and I foolishly fall for it every single year. Yeah, it's about that time already. But this is the new Natasha Denona Holiday 2019 Gold Collection. Ooh, sounds fancy. But this will be available on September 17th. So very, very soon here. That's actually a day before I move. Yes, I am moving, folks. It's going to be hectic. Things have been hectic. But once I'm in my new place, I know that things are just going to be serene and peaceful and just clear waters. So I can't freaking wait. I digress. So Natasha Denona is basically coming out with a mini gold eyeshadow palette, which is based off of her gold eyeshadow palette that she came out with last year. I believe that palette was $125, just pretty damn expensive, but that's to be expected with Miss Natasha Denona. But this guy is only going to retail for 25 bucks, but the pans themselves are very, 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 very small. But I mean, you're only paying 25 bucks for Natasha Denona. So these palettes are for people like me who don't want to spend big Natasha Denona bucks, but want to still have a little taste and just dip their toes into Natasha Denona. I'm sure Natasha Denona would not like me dipping my toes anywhere near her, but that's besides the point. Now, this mini gold eyeshadow palette allegedly is going to be including four new shades that are all inspired by the original gold eyeshadow palette. And there's going to be one shade out of the bunch that's just going to be just a carbon copy, the exact same shade that was in the actual eyeshadow shadow palette. So, I mean, these all look pretty similar to what we saw in that palette, but I'm sure that these colors are different than what we saw in the OG palette, but the differences are probably very subtle. So I don't know that you would need this palette if you already own the original gold palette, but for someone like me who doesn't own it, this is something very interesting. Now, she's also coming out with the Gold Glow Shimmer Duo, and this is going to include two gold highlighters, and this will retail for $42. This is described as a golden sparkling diamond powder. Now, I think that this is really cool because Natasha Denona came out with two little blush and highlight kits a few years back. I own both of them. They're beautiful, but they are very, very expensive. She also came out with some single pans of her highlighter formula, the sparkly kind of Tom Ford eyeshadow-esque highlighter formula that she has in her brand. I believe she has three shades of those single highlighters, and none of them have a golden undertone to them. They're all basically champagne-based highlights, and then there's one more kind of brassy topaz-toned highlight for deeper skin. So I really like that she's finally coming out with a just pure golden tone of that highlighter formula. Champagne does not work on everybody, my friend, and neither does Topaz. So having a golden shade kind of right in the middle there is really, really nice to cater to people who have medium to deep to even deep dark skin tone and even fair and light skin tone if you want to go for something very golden. Anyone can use a golden highlight. I do also like that this is a split pan highlighter. I love split pans so freaking much. I would much rather get a smaller product but end up getting two different, you know, colors of product than get just one big ass pan of one color of highlight. It's just more interesting and you have more variety with two different pans. So because I already own both the Natasha Denona's blush kits, I don't feel like I need the golden highlight, but I really do feel like I need the gold eyeshadow palette. I don't actually think I need it, but I definitely want it. It's only 25 bucks. You get five different shades that are all very reminiscent of what we saw in the OG gold palette. Granted, the pans are really tiny, but this would just be for me to try it and just, you know, to wear every now and then. These aren't colors that I'm going to wear all the time, but they're colors that if I want to wear them, I'll own them. And it's not like I wouldn't ever reach for this palette. I've been more into kind of olivey golden tones lately for some reason, which is weird because I was never into them for the longest time and I've just been wanting to grab golden olives lately. I think it's all been inspired by Davina's Celesta single shadow from their Galaxy Dust collection. It is this beautiful, super shimmery, super reflective goldeny olive tone and oh my god, it is stunning. It has really been making me just want to reach for 
olives and greens, which is weird. This guy definitely piques my interest and I think I will go ahead and pick it up just because I just want to try it. Just because of my curiosity and I know it's bad to spend $25 just on, you know, sole curiosity. So although it's not something that I absolutely need to have in my collection, it's something that I definitely think that I would enjoy having in my collection. So I'm probably going to pick it up. I don't know if that's a justifiable reason, but I don't think any of these makeup purchases are actually justifiable by, you know, normal people who aren't obsessed with makeup standards. <laughs> so I don't want to be judged here, okay people? So next up we have another holiday 2019 item and this particular collection is basically the epitome of the holidays. This is something new from Too Faced and I use the term new very, very lightly here, but this is their gingerbread extra spicy holiday collection. This is going to be available sometime in September, so sometime this month, but we don't have any prices or any dates yet, but I'm gonna assume probably around the same time as everything else that we talked about for this week, probably mid-September. Now, there's a bunch of different things coming out in this collection. We have the Gingerbread Bronze and Kissed, which is, I believe, a lipstick that's kind of like a gingerbread orange-brown color. There's a few different liquid lipsticks coming out in their Melted Matte Formula, Gingerbread Man and Gingerbread Girl. I believe the Gingerbread Man came out last year because I own it and legit never wore it, and they're coming out with a new shade that's pretty similar. It's just hair different, but really not that much. They're also coming out with a glitter mini lip gloss set, which doesn't really appeal to me too much but some people like that kind of thing but the thing that really grabbed my attention here and grabbed a lot of people's attention is the eyeshadow palette the gingerbread extra spicy eyeshadow palette now take one good look at this palette and just tell me what you think like tell me down below what do you guys think about this palette because i really had to sit there and stare at it for a good long minute and think what in the world is different about this palette from the gingerbread palette that came out I believe it was last year maybe it was 2018 I can't no oh my god it is 2019 right now I am just so turned around 2018 was last year I'm pretty sure this palette came out last holiday season and the differences between the gingerbread extra spicy palette and the OG gingerbread palette are very very subtle now the gingerbread extra spicy palette is way more terracotta toned and has a lot more orangey tones in there it's much warmer than the original gingerbread palette which was pretty warm but it did have some cool tones in there that kind of made it a little bit more unique in my opinion when I look at the gingerbread extra spicy palette I just think you know naked heat I think about any old terracotta palette that's ever come out in the past before. I think it's a well put together palette. I think the colors themselves represent gingerbread, you know, perfectly. That's obviously a gingerbread palette. You take one look at that color scheme and the packaging and you know exactly what they're doing here. But I just think that the original gingerbread palette is just executed so much better because you have that beautiful cool toned fuchsia in there and then you have that bright, really intense 24 karat gold in there as well and a few mauve tones that kind of offset the warm terracotta vibe of the gingerbread red palette. I think it's more unique with those tones thrown in there. I think it was a little bit more unexpected and honestly my eye was drawn when I first saw the OG gingerbread palette from last year. I was considering purchasing it because of the interesting tones that were thrown into a color scheme that we've seen quite a few times on the market. I just personally don't feel like the gingerbread extra spicy palette is something that's interesting enough in my opinion to want to purchase it for my personal taste. It's not anything that's exciting to me. It's not anything that really gets me going here. It's just you know, a typical terracotta palette. Yes, I can see that it, you know, has a gingerbread theme and that's what they were going for, but why did they choose the gingerbread theme two years in a row? I guess I understand because it's a really cute theme, don't get me wrong, but I just don't understand why they would just choose straight up gingerbread two years in a row. I mean, there's a lot of things that could go with gingerbread. I feel like they could have done something a little bit more creative, like Christmas cookies, which still includes the gingerbread, but maybe throw in a few more traditional Christmas dessert type things that will make it a little bit more interesting and a little bit less kind of copy and paste from what we saw last year, if you know what I'm saying. Honestly, I think that they could have gone with a gumdrop theme and that would have been so freaking cute. Oh my god, I would love to see a gumdrop palette or a gumdrop, you know, blush palette or something like that. Gumdrop sparkly eyeshadow. I can just envision in my head what it would look like and I feel like Too Faced could execute that perfectly. That seems really on brand for Too Faced and I feel like it would have really intrigued people and made people want to purchase it because it would be something so drastically different than what we saw last year. And it's still so perfect for the Christmas theme. And you can still throw in Mr. Gingerbread Man into the gumdrop theme. They go together perfectly. So I don't know, I guess I'm being a bit of a picky poly here, 
because, you know, they're allowed to do whatever they want and they're allowed to reuse themes because this theme was very obviously executed well. I mean, these are cute ass products, but I just don't understand why they wouldn't choose something more creative and just something different. Just something more exciting that still represents Christmas that they hadn't done before, like a gumdrop theme. Come on, Too Faced, it's not too late. Y'all can still come out with a gumdrop theme palette and I'll still buy it. I wouldn't even try to claim credit for it. I just wanna see a gumdrop palette from Too Faced. Come on, Too Faced, please. Two words, gumdrop, palette. Make it happen for Christmas, please. It's my Christmas wish. And the final release that I wanna to talk to you guys about is from a brand that I have talked about many a times here on my channel. This is Lele Posh Cosmetics. And they just came out with a buttload of new single eyeshadows and some single glitters. And it looks like some single highlighters as well. Now, if any of you have seen my videos on Lele Posh Cosmetics or have just heard me talk about them in general, I have given them very, very high regard because somehow she manages to keep her prices very, very inexpensive for the most part. Most of her single shadows are three to eight dollars maximum and it's eight bucks if you're getting a multi-chrome, which is a great deal. And her products and the quality of eyeshadows that she produces are freaking fantastic. If you are into my kind of makeup that I like, you know, sparkly, glimmery type eyeshadows, Lele Posh is for you, my friends. Now, she just came out with a bunch of beautiful new colors to her line. She already had some really gorgeous colors, but she's just expanded her line and come out with some really gorgeous, kind of shimmery, iridescent looking metallics. Now, there's a few different tones that I personally love. There's a lot of pink here, and you know me, you know I love pink. In particular, my favorite out of the bunch, I think is the shade Pixie, which is described as a subtle, soft shimmer that can be worn as a highlighter or a topper for an eyeshadow and it's just this gorgeous pinky lavendery purple kind of topper shade which if you know me if you're not new to my channel you know that I am all about here there's also a shade called prissy which looks like a gorgeous kind of bubblegummy pink metallic with some shimmers totally up my alley as well and then the real standout shade for me is this gorgeous shade called African Violet, which looks like a cool kind of pale, lavendery, kind of violet-y shade, if you will. It looks so freaking beautiful. I am just mesmerized by the swatch videos that she put up on her Instagram. That's why I'm not looking at the camera right now. I'm just watching this and just hypnotized. I basically just mentioned the pinks here, of course, but she also released some really beautiful olives and some blues and some navies and just some really interesting colors. Now, I would absolutely purchase all of the shades that intrigue me out of this bundle that she released, she's released a bunch of pinks and I would pick all of those up. And to be honest, I did already pick a few of them up, but she reached out to me and wanted to send me some of these shades as PR. So once I receive that, I'm gonna go ahead and do a big ol' swatch party, a dedicated video, and even a tutorial using some of these products. And of course, show you everything about them, show you how they perform, show you what they look like up close and personal. Just give you the rundown on these new products. This way you guys can make informed decisions on whether or not you wanna purchase them. But like I said, even if she didn't send me these as PR, I legit purchased Pixie and I believe Prissy as well already. So more than likely I'll end up with some duplicates here, which is never a bad thing in my eyes, especially when it comes to pinks, because I am a very, very fast panner, especially when it comes to glittery shades that I use a lot of to really pack a punch on my eyeballs. I hit pan like left and right all the freaking time. So I'm not necessarily unhappy that I purchased some of these before getting the PR, but a huge thank you to Lele Posh for wanting to even send me this as PR. I'm so freaking excited to try these products because she already knows that I love her brand and her products and I've purchased everything myself so far. So, you know, I give you guys honest reviews and I've truly loved freaking everything from her. So thank you so much for wanting to send me PR. I really appreciate it. And I cannot wait to bring you guys this video and show you these because I know a lot of you out there who saw that original video are very interested. So I want to educate you guys. I'm really excited to do that. So stay tuned. All right, friends. But if you stuck around to the end of this video, I promised you guys a giveaway. So we are finally getting around to my 5k giveaway. Away. I can't believe that I actually freaking reached 5k on YouTube. Like, I remember reaching 100 subscribers like it was yesterday, and I was thankful then, and I'm extremely thankful now. My brain can't even comprehend how many people 5,000 people is. Like, I can't even imagine being in a room with 5,000 people and just knowing that that many people are subscribed to me and want to watch my channel here on YouTube, my tiny little makeup channel. I am just so incredibly thankful, so thank you so much for sticking around and subscribing or even just watching my videos or hell, even if you just came here to give me a thumbs down and tell me that my nose is big. I still appreciate it. Actually, I don't know if I appreciate you saying my nose is big, but 
I digress. Now the rules for this giveaway is very, very simple. This is gonna be an international giveaway, so everybody has a chance to win. Obviously, you gotta be subscribed to the YouTube channel, and I would also really love it if you subscribed to my Instagram, which is also Emily Violet Maria. I don't really post on there that often, but I figured, why not? Now, the final rule to enter the giveaway is to leave me a comment down below and let me know what your absolute favorite single shadow is of all time. If you're not into singles like I am, then go ahead and let me know of your absolute favorite eyeshadow out of an eyeshadow palette down below because I am purely curious. This is like strictly out of curiosity because I want to have some suggestions next time I decide to go, you know, compulsively single eyeshadow shopping or maybe even eyeshadow palette shopping. I'm going to take your guys' suggestions and probably compile a list together like a crazy person. First item in the giveaway is... The Huda Beauty Neon Pink Obsessions Palette. This is the epitome of me in a palette and I figured why not give this to a lovely subscriber who is also into these types of shadows. I'm sure if you're subscribed to me, I'm sure you're into some sort of makeup that's similar to mine or maybe you just enjoy this type of makeup and you want to try it. So this is your opportunity, my friend. I absolutely love this palette and I figured you guys would love it too. Next up, we have two single shadows from Luxie's second most recent collection. When I first picked these up and when I first planned on doing this giveaway, it was their most recent collection. I have the beautiful metallic neon green that I cannot remember the name of for the life of me right now and the beautiful satin navy blue. These are going to be beautiful for anybody who's into color, anyone who wants to try some really interesting and funky colors. And I know Luxie has a gorgeous formula, so those are included. Next up, we have a highlighter from Lancome. This is one of their dual finish highlighters. Yes, I have everything written out in a paper in front of me because I cannot remember all this information off the top of my head. Thank you very much. <laughs> this is the 05 Sparkling Peach Highlighter. This was my like ride or die absolute favorite highlight for years till I discovered Cleonid's Pop and Rocks and then from there it went to JD Glow Cosmetics' Chaos, which is what I wear every single day now. But this guy was my absolute favorite. This is the most gorgeous kind of medium peachy champagne with a little bit of gold and the actual formula on these highlighters are to die for. They are one of the best. They are a baked gelée kind of highlight that pick up so beautifully on a brush that don't emphasize texture. They're super, super shiny and intense and wet looking. I know not everybody's into a trichromatic highlight, so that's why I didn't include my recent favorite, JD Glow Cosmetics' is Chaos. I figured this would be a bit more neutral and would suit more skin tones than the one that I personally wear, which is very, very intense and loud. Finally, we have something from Bitter Lace Beauty. This is their highlighter or their eyeshadow. It just kind of depends on your skin tone what this is going to be. And this is the shade Gray Stuff. This is a gorgeous metallic kind of cool gray highlight but I personally would use this as an eyeshadow and it has beautiful reflex of rainbow glitter in here. It's a really interesting product. I own one of these myself. If you like smoky eyes this would be a really interesting thing to kind of layer over top of your typical black eyeshadow or gray eyeshadow that you would use for one of those because of the rainbow glitter. You know how much we love rainbow glitter around these parts. But with that being said, that's going to be wrapping up this week's pay or stay away. So if you enjoyed the video, I would absolutely love it if you gave me a big old thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. You got to be subscribed to enter the giveaway anyway. And I want everyone watching this to enter the giveaway. But with that being said, I hope you are having an absolutely amazing and beautiful day wherever you are. And thank you so much for joining me and spending your time here. I hope to see you next time. Bye.